Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm standing just outside Amersham Station and just beyond there is the furthest west point on the London Underground but Amersham is not the furthest west station on the London Underground, that goes to Chesham. The reason we've come to Amersham today is to look at something that's not at the station but very much to do with the Metropolitan Line. So that's the station there, that's looking towards London. Where we're going to today is the other end of Hill Avenue. It seems um, trains to Aylesbury aren't running today, so you have to get the rail replacement bus to sitting down there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk to the other end of Hill Avenue and I have something quite interesting to show you up there. I'm at the other end of Hill Avenue now. There's another rail replacement bus. And uh, it's funny really, there should be a rail replacement bus driving up here because what we've come to see, well, a while back I was driving along here and I was in my car and I was just parked just little waiting just there at that many roundabout and I looked out and I thought to myself I could see they had fenced an area of this green off here and I thought it looks like a railway line they're building there but I thought to myself can't be there won't be a railway line being built here you know why would there be a railway line look like a narrow gauge railway and I, I, in the end I had to go and park the car to come and have a look to prove to myself there would not be a railway behind this fence well I was wrong and what's happened now is not only is there a railway but something rather exciting has appeared on that railway we have a train in the name of a replica of Met number one so I was really quite surprised firstly to see narrow gauge track laid as it's all fenced off I can't go in I'd like to go in and measure it to see how wide the track is. You can see it's going to be a rather nice display with the train taking part as the centrepiece. I'm going to have to come back when this path is all finished and I'll make another video on this finished um, display with flowers and that. Um, I hate those cars. Um, yes, yeah, so it'll look. It should look really good when it's done. But I just wanted to show you this as soon as it's. Arrived. So we have a replica of Met number one. So I don't know what gauge. So as I said, I'll be back with a um, tape measure. Replica of Met number one. It all looks rather good. And a couple of carriages. This one is has got number three five three, which I'm pretty sure is one of the ones Metropolitan Line carriages they have used on steam on the Met. And then the other carriage, this guard van, is three three five. So I think this is a really nice, nice uh, display. And like I said, it will look better partly when the sun's not right in the wrong place but when, when all this is finished I'll come back again the sun's in the wrong place um, and you know we'll, we'll come and have a look at this but it's it's just um, just something a bit different and it's it's nice and I like anything to do with railways it it's just makes the town a bit brighter in Europe you quite often find plimp steam engines in most big towns and cities there'll be a plimp steam engine you don't get that so much in the UK there are one or two places but here we have a replica of a steam engine nicely displayed and no doubt um, you know it'll be something that people will come to know Amersham for in future and maybe one day they'll do steam on the Met again and we can come to Amersham behind the real Met number one and come and see her little sister daughter whatever you like a smaller Met number one so hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and from this evolving display in Amersham goodbye